Salutations everyone, this is Razor here bringing you some Battlefield 3 action, a, uh, a rush game on this big ass annoying ass map because it takes like 10 fucking minutes to actually get to the action here, especially at the beginning uh, bomb sites. So what I do, because you guys know I'm not a vehicle person because I think they're stupid, they're slow, they're overpowered and just I, I, I want to use a gun because I'm a man and that's what men do they use their guns and their fists and their knives and that's how they communicate so um, yeah, I usually just take a, a fucking Jeep drive it all the way over here and then uh, you know do what I do best which is playing the damn objective it's something that not a lot of people do and it it befuddles me. I mean, look, we're just like a, one minute in exactly, and I I'm all there's I'm already planting the uh, aim bomb site. I'm or I'm arming it, and uh, killing some people over at B because that's where the action is for some reason. Usually the action starts at A on this map, but you know it all depends on the players. That's the way that these games work. The guy is trying to fuse. Fucking, he's dead. This guy trying to fuse. Yeah, well, he's dead. Because uh, I play the objective, I guard my MCOMs after they arm th after I arm them. That's just what I do. So A is already gone, and B should be shaking in its boots because I'm gonna get her done right here, real quick. But of course, you know, you got some people you gotta kill. And when it comes to playing the objective, it's something that I always do. It's something that I have a f I have a fun job doing. It's how you win games. There's not a single game in any online multiplayer game where playing the objective isn't winning. Playing the objective, it's just, that's how it works. If it's team deathmatch, what's the objective? Kill the other team and not get killed. That's your objective, that's what I do. So if it's capture the flag, or domination, or conquest, or rush, or demolition, or search and destroy, or squad rush, or SWAT, you know, whatever game it is, whether game mode it is, if you're playing the objective better than the other team, you win the game. And I don't understand why people don't, play more this way. I almost get the double kill right there, but that guy... Ah, can't win them all. It was double teams, and that guy was just as alert as he needed to be. But I understand why some people play the way that they do, because everyone has their own right to play how they want to play. And this isn't a full gameplay, by the way. This is an hour-long game, but I'm going to cut it off when I'm, after I'm done talking. People should be able to play the way that they want, you know, w with certain restrictions. I don't uh, think I'm going to be uh, splitting any hairs when I say that people find it annoying when you are in a uh, sabotage or demolition game and you're just hiding in the back of the map with a sniper rifle. Then you can't really kill anybody, but you end the game 3-0 and and your team loses, and that's because you weren't helping playing the objective. I understand killing people is fun, but as you can see here, I have more kills than anyone else, and I'm playing the objective. So some people, they're like, I just want to kill. But, you know, there are game modes for that. You can get way more kills playing deathmatch or squad deathmatch um, than you can playing rush or conquest or, you know, whatever game mode it is. So there are different game types for the way that you want to play. Uh, your slayers aren't going to be playing capture the flag, you know, because that's not going to be the best uh, game mode to get you kills. I mean, sure, there's going to be some people camping and, you know, capture the flag needs people to defend. But when it comes to you know, your big time slayers who are just to get the huge kills, you're not going to see them playing search and destroy because... You know, probably the best that they can do is a dozen or so kills. When in, you know, Domination or Ground War or something, Demolition, you can get like 70 kills. Where you can't really do that in other game modes. Here I am just helping, helping people out, killing people here with my uh, M4 suppressed. Don't know what drove that car, but he's out of there, so... <laughs> Don't know if it was a teammate or an enemy or what, but... This guy's armed B, uh, BMCOM, so I'm just going to uh, do what I do best and protect the MCOM. Uh, fucking rocket sh jump that guy. I get the kill assist even though I fucking shot. It was like two feet behind him and he doesn't die. It wasn't even two feet, but whatever. Getting some oppression assists, killing enemies, defending this uh, 
BM comm station, and we're gonna be good to go here. Pull out my pistol, cause this M4 isn't gonna last me forever. Gotta suppress so I can be stealthy, help me play the objective even better. Uh, in some cases, it's not gonna be the best for killing people, but when it comes to being undetected and planting and defending these MCOM stations, it uh, it does well. And also, need to run engineer in these big maps, because otherwise tanks will just destroy you all day. Tanks will still destroy you all day, because it takes like 500 uh, rockets to destroy a goddamn tank in this game, because that's what you call balance. But, uh, irregardless, sometimes uh, you'll be able to destroy one. You get a good shot on it, or maybe a teammate is shooting at it as well. At least you can disable it before, you know, the enemy chops out and repairs it in 0.5 seconds. But I'm able to get the tank destroyed right there. But like I said, I don't understand why people don't play the objective. It's a lot of fun. It helps you get kills. I get way better scores in Domination uh, playing the objective than I would if I was camping or just trying to kill whore. You know, of course, you're going to have your, you know, six-man teams that are just trying to spawn trap and they get a ton of kills and they win the game. But in, when it comes to domination, I'm all about uh, you know getting the highest score possible, winning as fast as I can. When it comes to conquest, which I don't really enjoy in this game, I still try to do the same thing. When it comes to rush, I want to plant those bombs and uh, get them off. Or if I'm defending, I want to defend the fuck out of them. And it's really satisfying when you can uh, you know stave them off on the first uh bomb sites, which is really nice. Or you know maybe the second bomb sites on certain maps with the tall order to do it on the first uh, couple of bomb sites but uh, I like playing the objectives because it's fun and you win you win that's that's what I think games are for you know it's you're supposed to have fun and you can have fun by you know not winning that's you know perfectly acceptable when it comes to games or sports or video games board games freeze tag you know whatever it is you know it's fun to play but, you know, the objective is to win, because if someone isn't trying to win the game, if, you're not, if no one's trying to win, it's much more difficult to, uh, to have fun, because the game just isn't competitive. Um, and if there's no sort of competition in the game, even if you're playing a meta game, that's still sort of competitive, and these guys just healing people, and I just can't kill, kill them all. But... Um, as long as there's some sort of competition in the game, no matter in what aspect of it there is, whether it's trying to get more kills than your teammate, because sometimes the opposition isn't that strong. So sometimes you got to create meta games for yourself. Like uh, in Call of Duty, it's not hard to win. So what I try to do is win as fast as possible, win with the biggest scores possible, get as many kills as possible. When it comes to Battlefield, um, you know, winning isn't so easy because sometimes you know vehicles and shitty teammates or campy uh, uh, little campy uh, enemies make things more difficult so uh, things I think are way more competitive in battlefield you're still gonna have your people that don't want to play the objective but go, go throw a grenade there and get myself a nice little double kill in the aftermath of my death and that was pretty awesome be sure to see that upcoming fun -tage of battlefield 3 um, but I don't understand why some people play the game that they, why they play the way that they play, because it's so more fun to, uh, to just play competitively because I don't know. It's just, it's just how it works. It's, it wouldn't be fun if you're playing in a football game and each team is trying to see, uh, you know, how lazy they can be. You know, that's not fun. That's not competitive. Even in, in a game where it's, no matter what the competition is, if you know you're going to lose, like, you know, it'll happen, you know, in any game where you're in an instance where the team is just way better or your team, the other team is in a way better position or you're outnumbered, um, which, you know, happens quite a lot, especially in games like Battlefield where people just, you know, love to leave and, you know, same thing goes for Call of Duty or not so much Halo, but um, there's always something that you can do to make the game competitive and fun, whether it's against someone else or if it's just goals that you set up for yourself. So I play the objective, I get a lot of kills, and I have a lot of fun. And it's uh, it's always odd to see people that uh, either they get really, really angry at the game. It's like you're not really going to be having fun if you're just getting angry uh, for angry's sake. 
you know, there's, there's a lot of people who take the game way too seriously, and then there's other people who, uh, you know, like try to cheat, and that's not competitive, I don't see how that's fun, and there's people who just hide in the corner and maybe get a, a couple of kills, but they don't die. I don't see how that's fun, I don't see the way that many people play the game. Uh, to be entertaining, but uh, apparently I'm in some sort of minority because that's how a lot of people like to play the game and they must have fun with it Otherwise, they wouldn't do it uh, as often as they do. So that's it for me guys uh, I do end up winning this game in case you're wondering but it does take about an hour and there's really not much more to see at this point all the uh, exciting stuff was at the beginning so hope you guys enjoyed comments below are always appreciated and I will see you next time